Hi everyone, Charles with you here on Monday afternoon. Well, Cardinal Sarah again is, um, I think the last two videos I put up, well, including this one, this would be the second, um, he has spoken, um, I would just say against Pope Francis, um, the one before that, he said he was like a supporter of Pope Francis, so, I mean, you got me on this, but, you know, as far as what this one says, Cardinal Robert Sarah said that Catholics have a duty to evangelize and that bringing the unbaptized to Christ is an urgent task for the church. The prefect of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments made these comments when asked how Catholics should convert others without resorting to prosilism, which I looked up that word, uh, you know. Um, it just means like to in, um, forcing indoctrination, um, to indoctrinate someone, as denounced just recently by Pope Francis. Last week, Pope Francis asked Christians in Morocco not to, not to actively seek converts to their faith. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's our Pope, yeah. Saying that the path of mission, the paths of mission are not those of Priscillianism. <laughs> the Pope did not explain what he meant by Priscillianism. Well, it means indoctrination, but, you know, it's what it means. Um, Cardinal Sarah was asked by uh, Alicia in the April 5th interview. Um, you can click on that word. That's a link there, that word. Uh, Aledia. Oh, maybe it's Aledia. Well, anyway... All right, in an April 5th interview, how can we convert without resorting to Priscillianism, as announced just recently by Pope Francis during his trip to Morocco? He responded that the church has been given a mandate from Jesus. Indeed, all power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe what I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you till the end of time. All right, so the first time we heard that, you know, so why is the Pope saying something different? Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, if you, you know, any of you who are listening to me right now who haven't figured out why the Pope said that we should not evangelize, <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I mean, at least you have to, like, start questioning in your mind, like, uh, what's going on here? You know, I mean, there are just, I, I mean, I understand that uh, for some of you or for hopefully, you know, um, for some of you that it's, um, you know, it's, you know, you find all this confusing that it's like, putting a, you know, a thousand-piece uh, puzzle together, um, you know, but, you know, for a pope to say that, um, you know, I mean, just, I mean, let's not, I mean, I could be here for the next two hours here talking about all this, but, you know, for a pope to say that, you know, we shouldn't do that as Catholics, that we should not evangelize, um, you know, I mean, what's wrong with this? You know, what's going on with this guy? I mean, why would the Pope even say such a thing? Well, you know, I really have to refrain myself from getting carried away here. All right, so, all right, so that's what the Pope said. That's what Cardinal Sarah said. And, um, you know, who do you want to go with? You know, why do you go with, oh, boy, I like what the Pope said. You know, I mean, we don't have to do this. Hey, hey, you know, okay, I'm off the hook, you know. You know, just because this guy wears the garb of the of the um, Pope of the Catholic Church must mean that, oh, he's a holy man. 
Oh, he's led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is telling us we don't have to evangelize. Yeah, okay, after, after 2,000 years, all the popes before Pope Francis, um, you know, are, they're all wrong. I mean, you know, the whole Catholic Church has been wrong about so many things, you know, um, you know, up until, oh, well, well, Pope Francis, you know, Pope Francis, let's bend down and kiss his ass. Well, you know what? I spit in that man's face, and I'm sorry, but, you know, that's the way I really feel, because he, you know, he is not Catholic, um, he is a, um, you know, he's a destroyer of Catholicism, um, you know, um, he brings the violence to the Catholic Church, and to the, the peace that God wants with us because we are the deposit of the true faith of Jesus Christ, and this man is trying to destroy it. And I'm sorry, you know, you know, I mean, I hope the best for him, but, you know, get him the hell out of here as far as I'm concerned. And, um, you know, we'll just stop right there. Uh, okay, well, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.